One of the core and fundamental components of any outboard motor is this thing down here, your propeller. Now propellers are described by a couple of numbers. This Honda is spinning a 14 and 3 quarter by 17 inch propeller. And those two numbers describe the diameter, the first number is the diameter, so 14 and 3 quarter inches is the diameter of, of the circle that, um, that the tip of the blades form as they spin. And the second number, 17 inches, is a theoretical distance that the propeller will travel through the water through one revolution. Now propellers come in a number of different materials. This is a stainless steel propeller, and this small outboard here has an aluminium propeller. Stainless steel has many advantages. It's a stiffer material, it's a harder material, so it'll be more durable and able to take the knocks and bumps a little bit better. The blades are stiffer, so they don't fold or bend slightly when under pressure, giving you a more efficient transfer of power. However, they are more expensive. So on a smaller, a smaller outboard like this auxiliary, it's perfectly fine. If you're not traveling in harsh environments like really rocky or oyster encrusted environments to run a standard aluminum propeller. Now to ensure th this, this engine's correctly propped, but to ensure that your engine's correctly propped, you would consult your engine operating manual, check for the manufacturer's recommended wide open throttle specification. Then you would run your engine in the water and safely operate it at wide open throttle. You do that by trimming the engine out as far as you can without the engine ventilating, recording your maximum RPM and checking that against your owner or your, your owner manual and your manufacturer's specification. If it's within specification, everything's fine. If it's not, consult your local marine mechanic and investigate further. We should also check and maintain our prop propeller as part of our regular maintenance schedule. So I'd spin this propeller and take a look make sure the blades are all nice and even, make sure the blades aren't folded over or bent, there are no uh, major dents or chips um, and no deep gouges or scratches. Any of those may introduce vibration and decrease operating efficiency of your propeller, uh, of your propeller and increase fuel consumption which will, um, which will cost you more at the end of the day. As part of any, any general maintenance regime, you would remove the propeller you would grease the splines, you would check the propeller hub for damage, but most importantly you would check behind the propeller to ensure there is no stray fishing line or braid, which could potentially damage those seals and cause uh, long-term damage to your gearbox. As you can see, there's some line around the prop shaft. The propeller needs to come off, and that line needs to be removed. So that's the basics of one of the core components of your outboard motor, the propeller.